The night is dark and full of things that glow. Here are 10 unique ways you can enhance your base with lighting. And I'm betting you haven't seen many of these before. I'm Jamie, sit back and relax, grab yourself a cup of tea and bring out the good biscuits. If you want some extra love in your bedroom, maybe all you need is some nice mood lighting and a deluxe bed. Simple but effective, at the top of your four poster bed, attach four of the upright item stands. Make sure to use the upright item stands so that the dragon eggs will then point out horizontally, creating a rather nice purple and pinkish glow. Add some curtains to each of your corner posts to complete the look of your bed. After the bedroom, you might be a bit hungry or thirsty. You can add some style to your kitchen with some under counter lighting. To create the look you've just seen, just underneath your counters place a normal item stand. For a brighter glow, you can place a few of the item stands in a row. Afterwards, attach a crypt key to each one. For your full-size Viking fridge full of food, a wisp light is an ideal choice. Place the wisp light before filling up your fridge will make things just a little bit easier. Dragon tears have a cool and mystical look to them, but how do you get one in a cage? A fine question. You can do it like this. Place down some flooring and then throw it on top to whereabouts you want it to be. Then use a 2x2 two two cage floor at the bottom. This in turn will enable you to stack a 1x1 one one cage section directly in the middle. Next you can place the upright cages all the way around, plus one to seal it off at the top. To have another metal item suspending it from the ceiling, what I used was the standing brazier. Place it on top of the cage and then put the floor piece back in place. If you don't want your dragon tier in a cage, you can also suspend them like this. Here's a neat little bonus trick. Did you know you can attach flooring to a hanging brazier? This is how you can get the flooring at exactly the right height to throw the dragon tear onto the hanging brazier. Maybe you'd like something with more fire. And this is how you make it. Place down a floor piece at the height you desire. This will allow you to stack the item stands all at the same level. I've gone with an octagon design. After you go all the way around, put a horizontal bar in the middle, attach the vertical beams all the way up to your roof, and then you can remove the floor piece. Afterwards, attach certain trophies to each of the item stands to have this awesome chandelier. For a different style, why not try the Draugafang bow? Or for a much stronger glow, you can even go with the crypt keys. Speaking of things that glow, this is a simple but effective look. Whack a hole in your floor first, pop down the wisp light at the desired height, and replace the flooring. Use the upright item stands to create a box. Fill in the middle with the horizontal item stands, just to give things a nicer finish. You can also use this technique for wall lighting. Attach certain trophies, resistance potions or a couple of glowing mushrooms speaking of mushrooms how about a nice glass chandelier start off by attaching a floor piece to a vertical beam then you can make a cage using the one by one pieces at each of the points of the cage place an item stand attach your mushrooms to each one leave one side open for an item stand and a circling trophy you can then attach the glass walls they would overlap the cage pieces you will end up with a chandelier that looks like this with enough mushrooms you can even light up your house vegas style after you've got a nice bright haze, you might want a colourful sign to finish things off. To do this, type out the following using the angled brackets. The non-English spelling of the word colour, equal sign and then the colour of your choice. Close this off with the angle bracket, followed by the message that you want on your sign. Thinking of Vegas, how about a showgirl? I'm betting you haven't seen one like this before. This is what happens when your mind wanders whilst building. Jamie has left the building. See you soon and take it easy.